This is the hypoglossal nerve. So the hypoglossal nerve is going to descend from the cranial cavity. It's going to go through the hypoglossal canal. So I'm going to get my skull and just show you again. So remember, frame and magnum. If I go in quite cranially, quite low down, Okay, so can you see in there? Okay, I'm going to try and get you to have a view from here. You can see where we're going in in there. Other way. Yep. Okay. So that's the hypoglossal going down and finding the canal which if I twist this around here, you'll see the canal, and it comes out anterior to the condyle, and then it makes its way, quite a long route, down. Down, like that. Towards the mouth. Okay, Down, like that, towards the mouth hypoglossal that's going to tack the tongue from underneath underneath the tongue is that quite clear? so if we go back to the diagram so this is this part I've just shown you coming through the hypoglossal canal it's going to emerge anterior to the condyle and it's going to descend down this hypoglossal nerve there and supply all the muscles which move the tongue so it's motor to the tongue and the main function of the hypoglossal muscle is to protrude the tongue forwards. All these muscles act to protrude the tongue forwards. So if you get a lesion of the hypoglossal muscle, it means the side where you have the lesion, that side will not be able to protrude the tongue forwards, which means there's no push on that side forwards onto the tongue, which means the other side is more dominant. So the other side, so say on this side, this nerve had a lesion. On the other side, the nerve is still intact. That means this side has no push, so it comes backwards. The other side has more push, so it pushes over, and it pushes this one over towards you, like that. Okay. So the deviation is to the same side as the lesion. So the lesion's on this side, there's no push on this side. This side, no lesion, still intact, can push around and over. So the deviation is to the side of the lesion. Hypoglossal nerve. Okay. Note with the hypoglossal nerve, it comes on the outside of hyobone, bone, bone, a muscle from the higher bone into the tongue, hyoglossus, and outside of hyoglossus to come into the tongue. And that completes our video for the cranial nerves, 1 to 12. So just to run through them again, number 1, olfactory, number 2, optic, number 3, ocular motor, number four, trochlea, number five, trigeminal, number six, abducens, number seven, facial, number eight, vestibular cochlea, number nine, glossopharyngeal, number ten, vagus, number eleven, accessory, the handbag, and number twelve, 